Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to part 4 of my legendary campaign for Sparta. And as you can see, um, we've been attacked by uh, Epirus and Athens in a combined force. 630 deployed, plus 1755. Basically, because it's legendary difficulty, I couldn't save um, during the, kind of the middle of a part, so I had to continue the part on and what happened was you can only save it automatically saves at the end of of the end turn <laughs> so we've been attacked basically by by Epirus and Athens the remnants of what we took from Athens and we're quite weak as well look at our depleted force on the left hand side at the moment we do have some garrison to help us out <laughs> garrison fleet of six and it's gonna be it's gonna be nip and tuck all the way so yeah, you know, we, we took Athens in the last part, and now we may be put to the sword, so to speak. But this is the problem with um, going for the, this is total war achieve achievement because what that means is that everybody is liable to wage war on you. Well, you've got to wage war on everyone to get the achievement, so you've got to expect factions to gang up on you, and that appears to be the case here. Um, I don't know where the enemy's going to be. Can we have a. Ah, the map does show us that Epirus are over there. That's good news. Um, how are we going to do this? We do have a lot of slingers and peltasts, which is what we're going to need at the moment. I'm going to try my best. Uh, how can I do this? Javelin men. Javelin men. Guard. Can we spread them out, I wonder? Uh, we got javelin on the wall over there. We put some. That's what I want. Nice line on the wall there. Put some on this side as well. Over there. Bump, bump, bump. That's very nice. We got a nice group of them as well. Can we stretch these ones out? I don't like where they are at the moment. Um, that's slightly better, I suppose. And of course, we got our towers as well. Um, best way to defend in Greece is to get your hoplites and your pikemen. Stick them by the gate. I don't know where Athens are going to be coming from. Spartan U is going to be crap, so we'll group them together and they can form a kind of reserve by there for me. Um, boom, what we got left? My general, Royal Spartans. I'm going to. He's going to be my main unit in this battle, so he's going to go there. Let's get all these spearmen grouped up. Let's get them all together. I think I can pretty much. I hope we haven't got the periodic hoplites either. Start the battle, and we'll zoom in. And first things first. What I'm going to do is stick all these spears in tight formations to the gate. Nice little bit of blob in here. Phalanx, square, phalanx, square, phalanx and square, all the way, and what we got here, phalanx, so here we go, if you zoom in here, let's get this up for you guys to see, my, my units are here, and they are forming their phalanx across the line, form a nice defensive formation. Now I've got to find out where, of course we haven't got a camera if we to see where Athens are coming from. Oh I have some ships over here, I didn't even know I had ships. Um, I can't really do anything with these ships though. What's over here? Oh I have allies over here as well. That's good, that's good. Epirus are over here, Athens are over there. Why can't I get over there with my camera? Use my own units for God's sake. There we go. Seems to be working. Well, I'm happy about that. We have some reinforcements. Athens, we can slow them down, I think. Um, best way to do this would be to get my javelin into one group. We shall form them up up there. And we have mm, the rest of these to be grouped. The defense of Athens on legendary difficulty. This is going to be interesting. Oh, they got? They have hoplites, loads and loads of full-strength hoplites. So 
we're going to have our work cut out here with Athens. My camera's playing up terribly at the moment, I don't know why. Alright, they're going to march into position for me. How are we doing over this side of the battlefield? It seems I have to click on the unit to get over this side. If you guys know how to swap, because I'm moving the WASD cursor at the moment, and it won't actually let me go past a certain... Oh, actually it is now. No, it's not. See, it stops me right by here. It won't, and then I go like, I can go there now, but I don't know whether it's just the city, the way it's designed, maybe it's that little hill by there. That's rather stupid, that shouldn't, shouldn't be happening. Oh well. Uh, these guys running? They should be running. They are indeed running. I will get my javelin men, my peltasts. They can go into formation for me quickly. Where are they going? They're going to try and take this side of the city, so it may be wise for me to actually bring these ships around now. To the gate. Cause they're going to try and swoop around to the gate to pull up to things. We're going to try and intercept them and slow them down as quickly as possible. I'm going to bring this unit up. Bring these units up. Second line. Shift over there. If it lets me. What's going on here? Why aren't they moving? Oh, I took the wrong line, that's right. <laughs> I don't know who I moved over there. Uh-oh, uh made a mistake here. Where are you going? Where are you going, my friend? Get back to your position. Alright, it's my own fault. I actually moved half my units by you on accident. I didn't want to do that. Let's just get them back into the wall there. Epirus taking their time. It's my own fault. I do apologise. I did click the wrong thing. Why are my gates open by there? That's strange. Oh, the camera's playing up again. Right. What's happening over here? Oh my god. Try and form some sort of defensive phalanx. Use war cry. War cry. There we go. We can weaken some of these. Oh, there we go. Pepper them with with what we can. Big massive cluster of units here. Go. Do they stay in formation with phalanx? No, they just charge in by the looks of things. Didn't want that. Oh well. Uh, there we go, we're getting stuck in now. With the Athenians. My hoplet, my... Yeah, what are they called? My javelin men. Are peppering the unit. Not really taking... Oh, we're taking a few of them out, that's good. If they can continue to just weaken them from behind like this, um... Should have a decent uh, opportunity to try and weaken them here. Stop their advance. My ship's got a last kind of... Uh, Last resort for that gate over there. This is the first phase of the battle. Of course, the problem we have is Athens do have more and more units available to them coming up over here. Fortunately, if I can hold them in this position, my towers can actually fire upon them. Which will be beneficial to me. Check they're all in square and in kept in formation. We have some of these in phalanx as well. These units are doing well, getting, getting plenty of shots away. On the mercenary hoplites, weaken them down to 88. Uh, over here, looks like Epirus have actually got to the walls now, which isn't good at all. Just keep weakening them. Actually, it might be beneficial for me to bring some of these units back. So Epirus are not going to cause us the same problems as Athens, I don't think, so... I'm actually going to bring this unit... ...over there, to where the gate is. Oh, and look at this. We do appear to have routed... oh no. We are routing. Got excited then, I thought we were actually routing the enemy. Unfortunately, they are in fact routing us. It's not looking good at the moment. Um, let's go back to the main gate. We do have some units that are going to come up now and help out. But we are losing over here. Royal Spartans hanging in there. They are a very good unit in this game. It has to be said. 
they do do a, a good job. Let's get back to this side of the battlefield and let's put flaming shot on, I think. Burn the wretches, I say. We're holding some of the hoplites on the wall. <laughs> My royal Spartans get stuck into these hoplites now as well. So can these units as well. Game is starting to glitch slightly. Don't like that at all. Throw these all in there now. Get rapid advance on. For some reason. Here they go. Glitching like mad my game is. Why aren't they attacking them? Right. Why can't you attack? For God's sake, attack them men. Is it because they still have men inside the building? Class. Stupid if that's the case. Oh my god, this is stupid, come on. Do I have to take out the phalanx to attack? Game is glitching like hell. This is legendary difficulty. I have extreme graphic settings on. I have a pretty decent i5 processor. And... Ah, oh, this is irritating. Yours to command. Yours to command. All my units can them fire. attack them from the gate. They are bringing royal cavalry forward plus javelin men, so they shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. Finally, it appears my men have decided to attack them now. Ah, what's happening over here? I'm losing this. Over here? I don't understand. Where's my... Where are their units? Strange. Very strange. Um, This battle's causing me to be confused at the moment. How are we losing this battle over here? Spartan... Do we have 30 left? Come on. Idiots. Oh, I'm sending Spartan youth, that's why. Ah, uh, my hoplite should do some sufficient damage to them. We should have enough units there to deal with them, you'd think. Oh, and they've actually broken into the building now as well, those are things. They're not doing anything though, which is rather strange. Okay, how can we do this? Let's bring my hoplites around. I've, uh, this is stupid, it's a legendary difficulty and we have a unit of Epirus hoplites by here and they're just standing inside the gate. Not doing a thing. They've brought their other units forward. Looks like they might try to burn the gate down. Uh, we're doing pretty dam pretty much a lot of damage on the levy pikemen. Down to 71. Uh, they'll start. They should start routing in a few moments' time. I can form. Oops, I took them on phalanx. I want them on phalanx for this. Oh, we have 99 against 95 and 20. Attack that position. There we go. Let's bring them two units forward to attack their hoplites there. For some reason, they're just standing there, not doing a thing. Athens probably in my city now. Where are they? For some reason, I can't get over here again. Um, what are Athens doing? They've destroyed all my men here. I expected that. I still have my... <laughs> My javelin man is still in the battle. So, see, this is stupid. I can't get my camera over there now. Is it because I'm selecting different units or, or what? I'm not sure. And get these two ships to attract from the sea if possible. I'm hoping they'll be in range. I'm going to have to counteract Athens. I'll click this unit to get over here now. See how stupid this is? Uh, these units, I'm going to need them to defend the gates. The gates of hell. So we bring them forward. They're not going to do too much damage, but it's better than nothing. Uh, Epirus again defeated here. They should be defeated here as well shortly. They're down to 52. We have 17. Oh my god, I lost a lot of spears. And 89. Doing okay at the moment anyway. That's the main thing. Spread this phalanx out slightly. Spread all of these units out. Doing lots and lots of damage now to these units. 
in this epic defense of Athens. They are gone, like I said. They're all dead on the floor. Hello? Dead bodies. Hello? Right, and we are firing upon Epirus Javelinmen. The problem is we have so few units left in this battlefield now. <laughs> we really don't stand much of a chance. And are we actually firing from this ship? I don't think we're in range. I may as well disembark. I can't do much more than that. Can't actually attack them properly with my ships from there. Nice. They're gonna take that gatehouse. We need to defend this capture point, so we'll march forward and we'll try to attack them from there. But look at them, how depleted my army is at the moment. It's only a matter of time before I get defeated in this battle, you'd think. Traveling, Especially with the stupid glitching and stuff which you do do sometimes fine in total war. Royal, I'm going to do what most uh, people would do with um, hoplites and spears in the city defence and I simply put them behind the door put them all in phalanx pretty basic uh, tactic to use and we've defeated the Epirus here which is great veteran hoplites has done a pretty decent job bring them forward well we have here Pelioikoi spears I'm going to send them over here as well. It's probably too late, but it has to be done. And it seems Athens are actually in now. Form square quickly, please. I'm not going to get into formation quick enough by the looks of things. I don't have many units left anyway, but it's the best I can do. But they have hoplites and light hoplites. Form square in this formation, please. These are only Spartan use. They're not going to do too much damage to them. Especially because there's only a few of them left. They're going to try and capture... Um, my capture point, which is by here. I do have some Perioikoi Hoplites, which is good. But if we can get these three units, these five units, I should say, to crash into this unit of Hoplites, might take this unit out. Hopefully. We can form a Hoplite wall. Hope we can't form a Hoplite wall. Oh, we're going to start routing now. One thing I don't like with this game is the morale system. They seem to route very easily. Something I'd like to be improved in future patches. Epirus uh, surely don't stand a chance. Let's see if we can do this with that. It looks like they're going to swarm around now and try and take the other side of the building. The city, I should say. In that case, I will take... Oops, don't know that. Let's move all the Peltasts. I shall take all these. I shall group them into one group. The city defense group. And they shall be brought up to this part of the city now. We are losing the capture point over there. I'll keep these two units of hoplites around in case they do happen to break through. But there's only cavalry units and all my skirmish troops will be firing down upon them. We're actually going to chase them by the looks of things. Oh, it's because they're out of ammunition. Uh, that's not good. I have to actually have to have most of my units out of ammunition at the moment. Ah, I should slow them down anyway. <laughs> this is going to be a bit uh, insane. If we can take out mo deplete most of this unit, though, we'll be happy. Even if I have to sacrifice one or two of these uh, archers and peltasts, they don't have ammunition. So they're not going to be much much use to me now anyway. And if they do ca happen to come through the gate, I can always turn one of my units around. But the important thing now is to get to this side of the city. We are losing heavily at the moment. Let's bring my Perioikoi Spear up to their Hoplites. Most of my units are marching forward slowly. And how are the horses doing? Down to 57, that's not good. Come on, I thought we'd do better than that. My men slowly march towards the other side of the city, where Athens are breaking through. I do still have... I lost my Peltast on the other side of the battlefield, by the looks of things. Very few men left. The only good unit I have left, really, which is near full, are my Royal Spartans. Have to use them wisely. The horses are... If they stay this close to my city, they're going to get completely butchered, you'd think. Down to 49 now. Zoom in, see a little bit of horse action. There they are. Oh, look, plenty of blood. You wouldn't think this was extreme graphics, would you? I think it's the optimization 
with the game, unfortunately. Um, I have found that with some of the graphics settings, the textures do seem to appear and reappear. You know, the terrain textures, which can be a bit uh, disappointing, but you know, not much you can do about it at the moment. I'm sure Creative Assembly will eventually find some sort of cure to this cancer of theirs. <laughs> One way to put it, but yeah. We're losing these towers at the moment, and we're losing the wall over there. I'm not too bothered at the moment. I mean, they haven't got the capture points. They've only got the one capture point here. And we'll soon retake that. <sighs> My men are slowly marching up. Wish they would hurry up, to be honest with you. I can fall them all up here in this area. I'm not worried about the capture point. One tried to m take out as many Athenians and Eperites, I suppose they're called. Take as much of them out as we can. This cavalry unit is starting to get decimated now. What we can do, we can bring these, bring these three units forward as well. Bring every unit, every able-bodied Spartan forward. Keeping the one unit of Periarchoi spears there in case these cavalry unit do break through. But they just—if they're just going to sit there, they're just going to be completely butchered, which is what's happening right now. Down to 18, down to 17, 16. <laughs> oh, right in the head. That was quite funny. Um, oh, so it's quite fun. It's quite fun, mind watching cavalry units get butchered by wall towers. Don't not stand a chance, my friends. <laughs> oh, right in the head. Right, so he's on fire. Oh, he's not. This guy from the guy behind him's on fire. Down to seven, six. I'm just gonna watch this a minute because it's quite funny. Waving the fact that the AI is just sitting there taking it. You know, a, a human player, if they saw the unit again attacked like this, they'd move them out out of the way. You probably, you know, if I was controlling that unit, I'd take them around to reinforce with the army. They could use the cavalry to p maneuver around me at this gate over here or do something at this gate, but unfortunately, the AI is quite stupid, so. Oh, we've been attacked by lancers over here. Oh, I wish I'd seen that just a minute ago because I actually got pikemen by here as well. Veteran Hop the Taze versus the uh, lancers. It's not a good. Moved by the AI. <laughs> the AI is just throwing lances against my hop the tail unit. Oh, and they're going to get butchered. They are going to get butchered if they stay there. They have been able to disengage. Disengage. By your, command. by your command. Where are the rest of the Athenians? They appear to be where these towers are. I don't know why they haven't taken this tower. I find that rather strange. They were taking it earlier. And... Somehow we've caught up with their cavalry, even though they are faster. And we will butcher their lances now, one by one. <laughs> Plenty of blood to flying around. It's like an episode of Spartacus at the moment. And they're going to run towards these units now. By looks of things. Ready for Top charge. Ready and waiting. The AI is like me, doesn't know how to use cavalry very well. <laughs> I'm just gonna get sandwiched between these units now on this right flank. It's good news for me, not good news for them. Down to five, four, and they're broken. Right, that's good. It's good news, get these three units reformed try to form some sort of defensive line. This seems to be their main units over here. What have they got? They have some archers. Oh, they're going around the flank here as well. What have they got? Peltasts. Hoplites. Hoplites. Oh, we don't stand a chance, do we? Not with that many hoplites. And this seems to be all I have now in the city. Let's just take everyone that I have remaining. Form an epic last stand by here. That's all I can do. Speed this up a bit as well, because nothing's really happening for the next few minutes. Just got to get them into position. Everyone's going to come up. We're just going to attack here. They can outflank me as well, which is disappointing. I think they can outflank me, can they? Not if they... Why are they camping down here? The AI is camping. That's not very nice. I'm going to form an epic last stand over here. I'm going to fast forward this slightly. 
Damn arsers running away from me again. Bastards. Here we go, getting our units into position now. Some of my archers are going to come forward. They're not going to be much use to me now anyway. Um, okay, form phalanx. Let's get these phalanxes or phalanxes into formation. What we will do... Try to drive the enemy away. This is a timed battle as well, so, you know... I'm going to actually bring them all forward to this gatehouse to begin with. Because this gatehouse is going to fire upon me all the time if I do not take it. They have other units running around the city. Whoa, you can go after them. Go after their slingers, please. <laughs> We've retaken the capture point there as well, which is quite funny. Let's get both these slinger units over there to attack them some reason. That's so what I want. Take this bloody gatehouse. These units could go down there. Good th this is quite funny. I wish I had more units available to me. Because we have my enemy friends camping over here and they could be completely butchered if I had loads and loads of Royal Spartans at the moment. I'm going to play this now. They are coming towards me so my tower will soon be attacking them. form a nice long line. I'm going to enjoy this. We're going to form a nice line across the centre here. We've taken this tower. We're going to bring these units forward to reinforce. And we're just going to put them all into phalanx now. And this might do a lot of damage to them. They're all going to form phalanx. Put second wind on to some of these units. Would inspire my popote friends over here as well. And this should be very interesting to watch, so we're going to watch this. Because my tower is now firing upon them as they run towards me, doing some damage, as you can see. They're completely cornered. The AI is actually cornered itself. As they say in the film 300, when they wipe them, uh, they push them over the edge of the cliff. We're going to push them into the sea in this battle. The Athenians. Oh, loads of arrows raining down. Oh, see, this is the problem I have. They do have archers that can outflank me. Never fear, we do have some units we can charge them with. Like the Persians throwing loads and loads of arrows at me now. We are routing these units, these Hoplite units, this is brilliant news for me. They're going to do some damage to their own men as well with these uh, arrow fire. Hoplites, ready. Follow me. Double time. Bring this unit forward. We appear to have routed them here. Bring these units forward. We're gonna we're gonna continue the march forward and push them towards the sea if we can with what we have left. And these units I've got in here. These units are gonna chase them down there. We can actually take out most of their slingers here, which is good. Sparta! Sparta! Yes, says Sparta! That was a very bad impression of Leonidas from 300, but a good film. <laughs> um, I should probably use uh, a clip of that in the series some t at some point. One of my friends, uh, YouTube friends, Red Eel Gaming, he said to me on Twitter that I should probably uh, use a clip from Leonidas from 300 and I agreed. I said yeah it'd be pretty good if I could do that but I gotta find the right kind of moment to do that in. Fortunately this tower is going to be They do have mercenary hoplites, hoplites. They are very weak in mind, so we still have an opportunity to do this. And I'll probably twerk myself to death if I win this battle because I didn't expect to at the start of it. We have had our problems. Hoplites! Get them into formation quickly. And I'll soon put them into phalanx or phalanx. Three, two, and one, and go! Phalanx! Keep you all in phalanx, please. Phalanx. We're just going to drive them towards the sea. Problem is, we haven't got that tower, so the tower's going to aim for me and not them. But we do have these units now, which have taken out my 
Um, their archers, their peltas. Epirus are gone, I believe. I think we actually wiped them out. They didn't have any much units to bring in the first place. The problem we got, they do have a, other extra units, like these mercenary Thuros spears, which they've decided not to use at all, which is rather strange. Um, we are routing one unit here. 11 versus 5. That's <laughs> not very good odds, but we are doing damage in Phalanx. We're going to use Second Wind. And we're going to inspire this unit. We are out another unit now as well. My reinforcements can charge their hoplites that are shaken, which are there. Let's bring everything forward now. Ooh, didn't expect the ball to do that then. Um, doing a very good job over here on this tower. <laughs> Wanted to drive them towards the sea. Some of them will probably break through and escape. Here we go, it's one of them by here. Oh, oh, that was quite epic. Shot right in the... He's still crawling! <laughs> I gotta zoom into this. He's crawling! He's like a zombie from The Walking Dead. Help! Help! Oh, I didn't want to do that. What have I done? No! Why oh, we defeat them anyway? Right, now we gotta drive them all back again. Let's get your asses out of this building. They have units. Oh, they've taken this tower as well. Come on. It's not fair, is it? I don't want to be attacked from this tower. They do have... Epirus have some hoplites over here. And... I can't use a tactical map. I'd like to use it at this moment in time to see where the enemy is. They do have some... Hoplites up there. A couple of militia hoplites. The Royal Spartans, though. They are... They are quite overpowered in this game, it has to be said. Um, I have 87 of them still alive. I think I had 120 to begin with. I'm going to speed this up again because it will take a while. But we have actually got still got all our capture points intact. And we have fought this battle for over half an hour, according to the clock. And it says I'll win if the time runs out. Well, they're not attacking me, so I could just sit in the city and let them actually attack me. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be a good sport and go out and attack them with very few units that I have left. I mean, if I lose all these units, I've lost anyway, so... be interesting to see what happens. I can actually attack these spears first. With my units. This tower's still attacking me at the moment. Which is not good at all. I wish I had some more... units which I could pepper... against these, uh, Theros spears. Some peltasts, some archers... slingers, anything, just to... weaken them before I get there, because they do have a fairly strong unit here, which don't appear to be doing anything. <laughs> I wish I had some cavalry as well. If I had some cavalry, I could at least skirmish them a bit, chase them down a bit. Oh no, we're losing a unit over here. Spear unit. There's only two of them left anyway, so it's not the end of the world. We can actually start charging with some of these units now. Get rapid advance on. Oh, it's not good. See, we're taking hits here from the archer tower. I should have probably taken the Archer Tower first, but I want to get this battle over with. 99 of them left. Oh, they've taken a couple of out. This unit's now going to charge in. Huzzah. That will do some more damage for me. These units stated Phalanx for me. That's what I have left now. Unfortunately. 90, 90 against 23. You expect us to lose. I don't mind this because we hold them up as long as we can until my veteran units come up. My veteran hoplites and my royal Spartans. This is Sparta. And we have one unit routed now. There we go. We're charging them with the Spartans. Fast forward this battle, of course. That's a very weird hoplite formation. We're doing damage, which is the main thing. We do have these units to come in now. Charge them as well. My Royal Spartans lagging behind. Put second wind onto this unit. We'll inspire the other unit as well. And we're doing plenty of damage now. Look at this. Down to 54. Zoom in, get a bit of the action. Matter of fact, I could probably put this on unit cam. 
fast forward Udicam. <laughs> Don't see this every day. Plenty of blood, plenty of fighting. There we go, we seem to have chased them off. Down to 20 minutes remaining. Still gotta chase these units off, which is stupid. Rather stupid indeed. Um because they spread out so thinly. We have one unit up there with hoplites, we have militia hoplites over here, plus we have uh hoplites over there, so they seem to be spread out all over the place. Uh which is rather stupid because I now gotta chase them all down. And this is quite interesting, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I've been to be honest, I've been a little bit disappointed on Legendary at the moment. It's been you know, it has been a challenge. You can see that from my second episode when I lost I didn't quite take Athens and it actually went down to the last unit for each side, which was rather good and that's what you want from Total War. It's like the old Total War games that was where where by on like Rome and Medieval when you played them you would have uh you'd sometimes go down to the last unit or the last two units and that's what it always took. It sometimes took a Fyrick victory to actually claim victory. Whereas in this game that doesn't quite seem to be the case. Form oh, Phalanx for this unit please. And we will go with this unit to Phalanx as well. And we have these guys lagging behind. Let's bring them up with Form Phalanx with them as well. Doing damage to them. Put second wind on. Inspire them. If that helps, I don't think it's going to help much. We are doing damage though. Oh, they stayed in, that's pretty good. Only nine of them left. Fifty. Seven of them left. They're done pretty well though, mercenary hoplites. Hoplites. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Is it hoplites or hoplites? Because I've viewed both versions pronounced from different YouTubers, so. I think hoplites is what they say it what they call her in this game, so just go with that. My Royal Spartans, I don't know what they're doing. Charge please. There they go. That's what I wanted, I want them to charge. And there we go straight away. We've routed them. No point chasing them down. What have they got remaining? Oh, they have units up here, look. Oh, this is rather stupid. This is this is why I was saying with the legendary difficulty. I mean, this is stupid, the fact I have to baby my units. I mean, I could lose these two units now. They've been depleted, and I could lose them doing this. But I want to take the units out. At the end of the day, they haven't got enough units left. Withdraw. At least that way, then, we can have another battle later on. And they can try to retake the city with while they, while they try to rebuild. But this is stupid. I've defended the city. I've taken out everything that's come inside the city. I've kept my capture points. I've defeated the enemy outside my city here, and then we have three, four, five units sprinkled all over the place, all over the battlefield, n just sitting there, not doing anything. Look, just withdraw. Simple as that. It's stupid, very, very stupid. And this is legendary as well, which is, ugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a bit of a rant at the moment, but you know, I love this game, but I also hate it. It's it's like a love-hate relationship at the moment. It's rather, it's rather hard to describe. Hop it, eh? Where are they going now? Right, charge them down. And they seem to have run away from them, but they're going to get squashed between two units, and straight away they're going to break. Down to 32. There we go. We've broken that unit now. Now we've got to go for this one. This is what I'm talking about. We've just taken two units out down here. Taking this one out by here. Now we've got to go over here to take this unit out. I think there's another one up here somewhere. I think. I'm sure there was earlier. And that's exactly what my complaint is. We have nearly 10 minutes left. Just under 10 minutes left now. I know I'm fast forwarding um, so it's not going to be quite an hour long. Obviously if this battle's going to be a lot less than that. But what I'm saying is that it's stupid the fact that I have to baby my units to get around bump 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 to take them out when in a real battle if you lost that many units trying to take the city, with the units you've got left, you'd say, you know what, enough's enough. We'll retreat, we'll reform our, our army, and we'll try again. Rather than just keeping them here and the battle continuing. I mean, if I clicked on the end battle thing, it'd probably say I lose. It'd probably say I've lost the battle, especially on legendary difficulty. So my, my complaint is that uh, legendary isn't... To me, at least, since I've started playing it on on this game, 
it's not a true reflection of legendary there's lots and lots of glitches in my third episode i think it was or my, or my second i'm not quite sure if it was my second or third when i fought at athens uh let's put them on inspire this unit second wind ourselves charge them in here we go they should be gone as well now i mean my complaint is that um this this isn't a true reflection of legendary on total war room 2 and it is a bit disappointing oh we're out there now as well there we go we've defeated them have we won the battle yet doesn't appear to be it seems like we've got more <laughs> units to take out <laughs> and this is what i'm saying uh, i'm babying my units now i may as well just wait until the end the end of the battle time because there's only four minutes left but i'm fast forwarding this so it's not a true reflection of four minutes but this is so ridiculous they probably got <laughs> no my luck they probably got a full army hidden in the bushes and they've waited for to the last minute of the battle to wipe me out if that ha did happen i could turn around and say oh fair play but you know that's not simply the case as you can see the ai has been dumbed down in this game i think to a degree there are certain things which which i don't agree with with the ai um this is patch seven that i'm running on as well for those of you who are not aware so this is supposed to be the best that we've had since release so far and it's just not appearing like that to me at the moment and i got another complaint as well which is different to this campaign i'm doing a roam campaign in my own spare time and uh, not for youtube of course and um on that campaign uh i had a glitch i was taking apollonia from Sparta. Sparta held Apollonia. I'm Rome. I'm, be I'm besieging them from the sea with the navy. Had about 11 units in that navy and I had a army which had about 16 units in it in forced march um, within the reinforcement range and I clicked end turn. There we go. We've won this battle somehow. God knows how. <laughs> there we go. Battle duration. An hour and two seconds. That's quite strange. Two seconds. I thought you only had an hour for battle. <laughs> something else you can complain about but there if you feel free to um one unit pretty much remaining more or less all the others just wiped out quite funny but you know we won and that's the main thing we have two unit two provinces but yeah basically go back my story i'll end on this story i'll end the episode on this story uh i'm gonna kill all these because i'm upset <laughs> oh they're gonna attack me again a noble death Alright, we don't want to watch that. Nope, they're not going to attack me again. <laughs> he just dropped dead. I think Athens is wiped out now as well, which is quite funny. But going back to my story quickly. Apollonia. I had a army there. The army was in forced march. I then turned because I wanted them to suffer attrition. Honorable death. Let's quickly go through these. Ah, uh, he'll do. <laughs> not even looking at one pick in, just going, yeah, they'll do. I can actually show you on the map quickly my grievances. So Apollonia is here. I had an army in force march where my cursor is. I had an army, uh, a navy at the port. Sparta is in control. I'm Rome in force march. I click end turn. And what would happen is that Sparta would attack me and it'd be an ambush. The navy and I uh, wouldn't be there but uh, to reinforce because I'm in ambush. But what would happen is the game would glitch. It'd go onto the loading screen and then bump. Rome 2 will stop working. I do it again. I load, load the game up. Do exactly the same thing again. Rome 2 has stopped working. And I kept doing this and doing this about four or five times and it just kept happening all the time. So in the end, do you know what I had to do? I had to take my navy, which is here, and and just uh, click the attack button. Which isn't in my favour because what that meant was that I'd have to start the battle with fewer units. My re I'd have to wait for my reinforcements to come from the other side of the battlefield and plus they'd have their garrison there so it completely annoyed me I did win the battle but it was just something which you know I didn't agree with but anyway um, I hope you've enjoyed my ranting in this episode I don't usually do it but it's something I felt I had to to get off my chest and I hope you are enjoying this legendary campaign for this is Total War Steam Achievement I have been Dragonheart until next time goodbye <laughs> Thank you.